O'Shea Jackson Sr., widely recognized as Ice Cube, is an American figure renowned for his multifaceted talents encompassing rap, songwriting, acting, filmmaking, and production. Hailing from Los Angeles, Ice Cube embarked on his musical journey by forming the rap group CIA in 1986 at the age of 16. In 1987, collaborating with Easy e and Dr. Dre, he co-founded the influential gangster rap ensemble N.W.A. Ice Cube's role as a primary lyricist for the group, particularly on Straight Outta Compton, played a pivotal role in shaping the landscape of West Coast hip-hop, distinguishing it from its East Coast counterpart. Notably, N.W.A.'s provocative and confrontational lyrics, particularly addressing police brutality, sparked significant controversy. Additionally, his solo ventures, including albums like America's Most Wanted in 1990, Death Certificate in 1991, and The Predator in 1992, garnered both critical acclaim and commercial success. As of now, Ice Cube's net worth is estimated to be around 180 million U.S. dollars. In 2016, he was honored with induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of NWA. His stage name, Ice Cube, originated from a threat made by his older brother to slam him into a freezer and pull him out when he was an Ice Cube. Originally named O'Shea Jackson, Ice Cube was born in Los Angeles on June 15, 1969 to Doris Benjamin, a hospital clerk, and Hosea Jackson, a machinist and UCLA groundskeeper. Ice Cube has an older brother and had a half-sister who tragically lost her life when Ice Cube was just 12. Notably, he's related to fellow rappers Del the Funky Homo Sapien and Cam. Growing up on Van Wick Street in South Los Angeles, Westmont area, he attended George Washington Preparatory High School, where he began writing raps in ninth grade after a challenge from his friend Kiddo in her typewriting class. Ice Cube also attended William Howard Taft High School in Woodland Hills, Los Angeles. It's a 40-mile commute from his high-crime neighborhood. In the fall of 1987, shortly after recording some locally successful rap tracks with N.W.A., he enrolled at the Phoenix Institute of Technology in Arizona. After earning a diploma in architectural drafting in 1988, he returned to Los Angeles and resumed his involvement with N.W.A., while also keeping a career in architectural drafting as a backup plan. Ice Cube stands at 5 feet 7 inches tall or 1.73 meters tall. In 1990, he was introduced to the Nation of Islam by a musical associate from the rap group Public Enemy. He embraced Islam, although he denied formal membership in the Nation of Islam, which has been labeled as a hate group due to its ideology, particularly regarding white people and Jews. Despite this, he adopted Nation of Islam's principles of black nationalism, a concept that's well known in the hip-hop community. He described himself as a natural Muslim, citing his conscience and personal connection with God. In 2012, he voiced support for same-sex marriage, and in 2017, he expressed a fluid approach to religion, stating that he might explore different faiths throughout his life. Ice Cube has been married to Kimberly Woodruff since April 26, 1992, and they have five children together. Sons O'Shea Jackson Jr., who was born in 1991, Daryl Jackson, who was born in 1992, and Sharif Jackson, who was born in 1995 and then daughters Karima Jackson, who was born in 1994, and Deja Jackson. Their eldest son, O'Shea Jackson Jr., portrayed Ice Cube in the film Straight Outta Compton. Through his oldest son, Ice Cube has become a grandfather. Ice Cube emphasized teaching his children to question the portrayal of violence in various media forms, not just in song lyrics. In a 2016 interview, Ice Cube revealed Jaws as his favorite film and identified It Was a Good Day as one of his favorite songs. He's endorsed brands like Coors Light Beer, St. Ives Malt Liquor, and he launched his own clothing line, Solo by Cube. Additionally, in 2017, he founded Big Three, which is a three-on-three -three basketball league featuring former NBA players. He's a passionate supporter of the Las Vegas Raiders, initially backing them during their time in Los Angeles from 1982 to 1994. His affiliation with NWA and their use of Raiders memorabilia contributed to the team's enduring popularity within the hip-hop culture. He also roots for the Major League Baseball team, the Los Angeles Dodgers, and has been a dedicated fan of the Los Angeles Lakers. In 1986, at the age of 16, Ice Cube commenced his rap journey as part of the group CIA along with his friend Sir Jinx. Together, they collaborated with Dr. Dre and appeared at different events as part of their rap group. His collaboration with Dr. Dre extended to writing songs for Dre's projects, including the hit track Cabbage Patch, 
for the world-class wrecking crew. Furthermore, Ice Cube and Dr. Dre collaborated on a side project called Stereo Crew, which released a record titled She's a Skag in 1986. In 1987, CIA released the single My Posse, produced by Dr. Dre. At the age of 16, Ice Cube sold his first song to Eric Wright, later known as Easy e who was establishing Ruthless Records and the rap group NWA in Compton, California. Despite not being a Compton native himself, Cube became a crucial member of NWA, contributing significantly to the success of their breakthrough track, Boys in the Hood. Soon after, he became a pivotal member of the newly formed NWA rap group. Serving as NWA's lead rapper and primary ghostwriter, he played a significant role in shaping the group's debut album, Straight Outta Compton, that was released in 1988. However, due to financial disagreements, he parted ways with the group at the beginning of 1990. During the same year, Ice Cube released his debut solo album, America's Most Wanted, which not only showcased his solo prowess, but also featured his leadership in the rap group The Lynch Mob. Additionally, he contributed to the development of the rapper Yo-Yo. Following his departure from NWA, Ice Cube pursued a successful solo career, releasing albums like Death Certificate in 1991 and The Predator in 1992, the latter referencing the 1992 Los Angeles riots. Despite commercial success, Cube's subsequent albums such as Lethal Injection in 1993 received mixed reviews from critics. Aside from his solo career, Ice Cube collaborated with various artists and ventured into acting and producing films. He formed the West Side Connection trio with Mac-10 and WC in 1995. He was aiming to promote West Coast pride amidst the East Coast-West Coast rap rivalry. Additionally, Cube explored collaborations outside the rap genre, working with artists like David Bowie and Korn. Throughout the late 1990s and early 2000s, Ice Cube continued to release solo albums, including War and Peace Volume 1 in 1998, War and Peace Volume 2 in the year 2000. Despite some fans' perception of a decline in quality compared to his earlier work, Ice Cube remained an influential figure in the rap industry and actually expanded his artistic endeavors beyond music. In 2003, West Side Connection released their second album, Terrorist Threats, which received positive reviews but experienced lower sales compared to their debut. The single, Gangsta Nation, featuring Nate Dogg, was a notable radio hit. However, disagreements arose between Ice Cube and Mac-10 regarding Cube's involvement in filmmaking, leading to the dissolution of West Side Connection in 2005. In 2004, Ice Cube collaborated with Lil Jon and the East Side Boys on the song Roll Call, showcasing Cube's versatility within the rap genre. In 2006, Ice Cube released his seventh solo album, Laugh Now, Cry Later, which sold 144,000 units in its first week. The lead single, Why We Thugs, produced by Lil Jon and Scott Storch, garnered significant attention. Ice Cube was honored at VH1's annual Hip Hop Honors in October of the same year and embarked on a global tour, including stops in America, Europe, Australia, and Japan as part of the Straight Outta Compton tour, accompanied by rapper WC. In September 2007, Ice Cube released In The Movies. It was a compilation album featuring his songs from various soundtracks. His eighth studio album, Raw Footage, was released on August 19, 2008, spawning singles like Gangsta Rap Made Me Do It and Do Your Thing. Additionally, he collaborated with Tech 9 on the song Black Boy and was featured on Rapper of the Game's track, State of Emergency. As a fan of the NFL team, the Raiders, Ice Cube paid tribute to them with the release of the song Raider Nation in October 2009. He also performed at the Gathering of the Juggalos in 2009 and 2011. Ice Cube's ninth solo album, I Am The West, was released on September 28, 2010, featuring production from West Coast veterans like DJ Quick and Dr. Dre. The album debuted at number 22 on the Billboard 200 and included the single I Rep That West. In the same year, Ice Cube signed up-and-coming recording artist Seven Trey The Ghost. In 2011, he collaborated with Daz Dillinger and DJ Quick on various songs. In 2012, Ice Cube contributed a verse to a remix of the Insane Clown Posse song Chris Bonet. He also released his second Raiders anthem, Come and Get It, as part of Pepsi's NFL Anthems campaign. In November 2012, Ice Cube announced details about his 10th studio album, Everything's Corrupt, which was delayed multiple times before finally being released on December 7, 2018. In 2020, he joined rapper Snoop Dogg, E-40, 
and Too Short to form the supergroup Mount Westmore, releasing their debut album on June 7, 2022. Currently, Ice Cube is scheduled to tour across Canada in early 2024 as part of his Straight Into Canada tour. In addition to his music career, Ice Cube has acted in nearly 40 films since 1991, with notable roles in movies like Trespass in 1992, Three Kings in 1999, and the Friday franchise. He's also ventured into directing and producing documentaries, television shows, and one-hour specials. Ice Cube's acting career took off with his role as Doughboy in John Singleton's seminal film Boys in the Hood in July 1991. It was a performance that earned him recognition for his convincing portrayal. He continued to impress audiences with roles in films like The Glass Shield in 1995 and Higher Learning in 1995, where he played the character Fudge. In addition to his acting prowess, Ice Cube demonstrated his screenwriting skills by co-writing the screenplay for the 1995 comedy Friday, which he also starred in alongside comedian Chris Tucker. The success of Friday led to two sequels, Next Friday and Friday After Next, released in 2000 and 2002, respectively. Ice Cube's filmography includes diverse roles such as a South African exile to America in Dangerous Ground in 1997, a staff sergeant in Three Kings in 1999, and appearances in comedies like Barbershop 2 in 2004 and Are We There Yet in 2005. He also ventured into directing and producing, co-creating the documentary series Black White in 2005 and directing the ESPN documentary Straight Outta L.A. in 2010. Ice Cube's television credits include the TBS series Are We There Yet, which premiered in 2010 and ran for six seasons and an appearance on PBS's Sesame Street in 2014. In October 2021, Ice Cube was set to star in the comedy Step Dude alongside Jack Black, but withdrew from the project due to his refusal to get vaccinated for COVID-19, despite being offered $9 million for the role. In May 2016, Ice Cube acquired a residence in Marina del Rey, California for $7.25 million. This property was previously owned by Jean-Claude Van Damme, who purchased it in 2012 for $6 million when it was newly built and it was a spec mansion. Additionally, Ice Cube and his wife own a spacious mansion in Encino, California, which they purchased in June 1996 for $2.36 million. It's situated on a 1.11-acre lot. This property features a seven-bedroom main house spanning nearly 8,000 square feet, complete with amenities such as a pool, spa, and full-size basketball court. Ice Cube's car collection is loaded with some of the insane vehicles, which include some ultra-luxury vintage and supercars. He owns or has owned a Rolls-Royce Ghost, a Lamborghini Huracan EVO, a Mercedes G63 AMG, a Jaguar XJL, a Cadillac Escalade, an Audi RS7, an Aston Martin DB11 convertible, a Chrysler 300, a Bentley Flying Spur, and a Range Rover SV Autobiography. Beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Ice Cube's dedication to family, community, and authenticity remains unwavering. His commitment to raising awareness about societal issues, empowering the next generation, and fostering positive change epitomize the true essence of a cultural luminary. Well, that's it for this video about Ice Cube. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and give us a like and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe so as not to miss any of our great content just like this video.